Today we, we will be making an intaglio print. You're going to need a few different materials. First of all, you're going to need an original drawing to work with, a foam printing plate that we will do our intaglio into, and a stylus with one nice sharp point for transferring your image. Take your original drawing that you've already made, line it up with your print plate and take a piece of tape and wrap that little piece of tape right around the edge of your foam so that it is attached like this. Then you're going to take your stylus and gently trace over the top of your lines. Don't press so hard that your stylus goes through the paper. You just want to leave a nice indentation. So at this point you can kind of see right here and here there's a light indentation where I've made my pressure marks. Once we get to the, um, the actual pressure on the plate, um, we'll go over some of the demonstrations of what to do and what not to do. But right now I'm just gently tracing over my lines. If you forget where you have traced over them, you can always flip your paper up and look just to kind of see where you have and done and where you haven't done. Try to follow your lines the best you can, but if you need to kind of rework something or kind of change a line, you can do that. Notice how I've kind of left some of these lines a little bit lighter than others. I want to make sure that I have the ability to leave some broken line in so my drawing is a little more interesting and the mind can fill in some of the information whereas if I were to do too many lines it might get a little confusing. I'm almost done tracing over my lines. Now one of the things is we could make colored prints out of this. This lesson is just going to be one color with the white background of the paper. I'm going to take my drawing up. You can kind of faintly see the image. Just going to double check and make sure all of my lines are there. I missed the end of the beak. So I'm going to just trace that one in real quick alright now we've got all those lines I'm gonna move this aside for a minute and show you how to do the pressure now let's say I've got my traced line already on this piece okay you can kind of see that tracing Maybe I'll turn it over you can see the tracing here I've made that curved line now when you do this you want to push down gently and draw your stylus over the top of your previously drawn line gently. If you do it too hard or too fast, you rip the styrofoam. If I were to just take this and, you know, quickly go down, I would get all these bumps and rigid lines, which we don't want. That doesn't look nice after you're done. So when you make your line, always pull your stylus like this and try your best to keep the pressure even from one edge to the next.